Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be teaching you all about the system object built into scripting, which allows you to access things like the OS, OS name, system name of your users, as well as access commands that can be run in terminal on a Mac or on command line on Windows. So since this is a quick tip, we're just going to be going over these several methods and properties very quickly. We're going to be uh, basically putting them in variables, alerting them, and then we can take a look at how to run things in sort of the command line. So if I run this test script I have, it's going to say, hello, Nate, talking to myself because it's using the uh, username of the computer. And then another alert is going to tell me I'm using build number 7601 service pack one um, computer. And this is telling me what version I have. So let's take a look at what properties and things we can access are possible using this system object inside of After Effects. So on page 180 of the CS6 scripting guide, we have the username, machine name, OS name, and OS version as our first attributes we can have access to. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable. We'll just call it the username. And I'm actually going to create one for each of these. So I have the username, the machine name, the, the OS name, and the OS version. And I'm just going to set these equal to what they are. So if I go down here to the system username attribute, it's a read only, but we just want to read it, which is fine. So we're going to get the system.username. And the system, of course, is referring to your computer system, not any After Effects system or thing like that. And um, if we move on here, we can say system.machine name. And we should just be able to copy and paste these guys as well and change the name to OS name and OS version. Now let's go ahead and run through each one of these and alert it so we can see what values we're getting. So create four alerts here and just fill them in with these values. And I'll go ahead and run it in After Effects. First thing we're going to get is undefined, Nate PC, which is the name of my machine, blank, and the build of our OS version. Let's see if we typed in some of these wrong. And it actually looks like for the OS name, since Windows 7, it returns a blank uh, as we saw. So what we actually need to do is use uh, the global.os. And just to double check that this still exists, we can go into the core JavaScript classes. And down here, you can see we have OS, which will return a string with the OS name we have. And then the other problem it looked like we had was with the username. So if we take a look, it looks like it should be system.username, but we forgot to capitalize the N uh, for camel casing. So now if we go ahead and run this, we're gonna get the username, which is my name, the machine name, now we can get the OS name using the global variable instead of the system variable. And then we can get the OS version as well. So lastly, we can call the call system method. And this is something I use quite a bit actually when uh, running scripts and extensions because it allows you to run command lines whether you're on Mac or Windows. So all we need to do is grab the system object and say call system. So what the example in the uh, scripting guide actually does is creates a variable which returns the system time and basically what that's going to do is use a command line to run command.exe. We can go ahead and put it in here. And what this is actually doing is going into command line.exe and it's going to grab the current time of the system. So then if I alert the system.time or system time, so I had to modify some of the uh, uh, parentheses out and make sure it was all surrounded in single quotes here, but now it should run command prompt and then get the current system time, store it in our system time variable, and then we're going to alert it. So as you can see, it is 823 according to my system, and that is accurate. It should be noted that this isn't just limited to simple commands. You can run full uh, sort of batch commands using this uh, as long as you have the right permissions. Uh, sometimes you may need to have them launch After Effects as an administrator if they're having a script run like this, because if it's making changes in certain folders like um, your program files, and sometimes even your documents, um, it will require special permissions, mostly in like Windows 10, Windows 8, and newer versions. So again, call system you can use to call upon your actual computer and run commands as if you were using command line or terminal. And this will offer you a nice layer of interaction between scripting and the user's computer that is uh, running the script. 
But that's gonna do it for this quick tip tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's all about the system object inside of After Effects scripting. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button down below to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And of course, down below, you can follow us on GitHub to be notified of cool code when it's uploaded, as well as follow us on Instagram to be notified of when new videos are live. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section as well. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.